and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, my voice still isn't 100% um, as you can probably tell, but it's starting to get better so I just thought like a quick little video um, would be good. And um, just going to take a quick look at the uh, a O H E N G H O I N G A O I N G glasses. Um, you can see that how it's spelt there, and <laughs> I only had a little try before, and I didn't manage. But these are a little bit difficult to get into. Like it's just a normal box, but it's just like really tightly packed. Right, let's see if I can get these out. Oh, yeah, the these are going to be a little bit. There we go. Ooh. Right, I'll just uh, toss that over there. So we get these two, and now I do believe these should be the exact same thing. <laughs> that gave me a bit of a scare, it just popped out and shot up towards me, but... These are clip-on 3D glasses for the movies. Now, as you can see, I am currently wearing glasses. Um, recently, I went to Specsavers, hashtag not sponsored, oh, hashtag not sponsored, and um, did my first eye test since, like, the second Harry Potter movie came out. So, yeah, at least 10 years ago. So, and it, uh, um, they gave me these to wear whenever I have a screen in front of my face. I later realised I would also include the movies, and while I do, not all the time, but quite often go to see 3D movies, Cause I'll, um, you know, I usually get to at least uh, um, one person in for free. Um, so, um, yeah, I, trying to wear these and another pair of 3D glasses on top of them would not be the greatest idea. So I decided to look into clip-on 3D glasses. So, and. Um, which is really nice, you actually get two pairs here, which is, yeah, in there. So let me just quickly try clipping these on. Uh, so. Alright, I'm a little bit nervous of doing this because uh, the things here that you, that you ha have to bring up to um, clip it on feel really flimsy. Um, like, they don't have to be the toughest thing ever, but they just feel like if I move, if I try to move them, they feel like they're going to just like snap off. Oh, there we go. They get medium, I do believe. Oh no, that does not want to be over there. There we go. Yeah, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Scoot it down a little bit. Okay, so medium, uh, or is this? There's one medium and one like large or small. What size is this one? This is unlabeled. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, so. Um, I'm just going to put them to one side. Yeah, they actually work. I don't think I can see anywhere where, where it doesn't look like they're covering it. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, you can probably see here, like under here, they can't sort of come up. But I would really, I really have to like cross my eyes to see that. So, yeah. Not bad at all. Um, and you get two pairs, so for the price, definitely not bad. Um, my glasses are a bit mucky, I probably need a wipe. Um, but, yeah. I would definitely, if you uh, go to see 3D movies uh, often and you need to wear glasses, um, just like. Why well, are my going off? If you need to wear glasses uh, when you're um, watching a movie for whatever reason, 
then I would definitely suggest getting a pair of these and um, depending on how um, able you are maybe get a friend to or family member to help put them on for you yeah but yeah they weren't particularly difficult to get on a um, little bit fiddly but yeah they just like clip on and you're ready to go um, so I would give this product an 8 out of 10 it's not perfect but it's pretty good and my main complaint is um, again if I, want, if, I grab, if I grab these back my main complaint is the these bits here feel a bit flimsy and like they're just gonna snap off at any point and there's no real place for you to like grab a hold and move them so locking on is a bit fiddly that's my, my main complaint my second complaint is like as you saw when they were on here they didn't fit perfectly so but you know that it didn't imp impact me looking out of them but um they did uh, looking at me with them they did look a little bit um like a size too small but these aren't large bulky glasses these are just like normal glasses so i don't know maybe um got the wrong size like again uh, uh, those ones were medium these are the other ones i unlabeled i think they're the same size um let me just compare these first yeah yeah you get two of the same size I think but this one doesn't say on the bottom one like the other one uh, like you can see on this one it, it does have a little M there but this one doesn't have an M or maybe I just put it on incorrectly but um, I'll just do it one more time with this other pair yeah I'm just double checking making sure I'm not missing anything that would fix that but yeah by the looks of it you can't really close that gap on the bottom unless you just brush it down but I really want to be careful with these because I don't want to break these oh maybe no I think that yeah that's just um, doing that yeah no actually that fits much better yep. and then they do that yeah so I don't know what's up with them if that's oh there we go I guess you just have to push them down a little bit more then you have a smaller gap but yeah um, while they don't fit perfectly they do they are usable and e really easy to get off they're easier to, a lot easier to get off than they are to get on so um, that'll be it I'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully my voice is at <coughs> oh jeez <coughs> sorry about that where my voice is at full strength and I'm not coughing anymore. Bye bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe and the uh, uh, ring a ding uh, that uh, notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.